good shots. He's gone for the York and he's dug it out beautifully. And he's timed it so well to almost go for four. We're happy with three. Great shot. A man there, just a single. Timed that to perfection. It's been very little reverse swing in this innings. To get him uh, feeling really confident. And he just keeps doing that, hitting balls into the gap. Such, such a crisp drive. It was for the moment it left the bat. Saw the middle off there, tried to move in the direction of the ball, but he was never going to get to it. It was on him before uh, he had a chance to move, really. Well, we heard um, the Pakistanis say that they try to pitch the ball up more. Wazi Makram was the man who said it to, uh, to get the old ball to swing. But if it doesn't swing, it's nice to drive. Gilchrist has made the most of that. It's five for 308. Catch. That was hit in the air, but hit very hard. That's another example of that beautiful timing. It wasn't quite there, was it? Uh, you had to adjust a little bit. It went uh, in the air for about oh, perhaps 20, 30 metres. Very close to the ground, mind you wide of the bowler you can see there uh, bouncing uh, well perhaps just a little beyond the the wickets at the far end of the line of the wickets right off the middle of the bat again oh, he's timing the ball beautifully well, so claims uh, flighting the ball inviting the drive and this is where Gilchrist has taken the match away from Pakistan he did it yesterday he really uh, got after Suck Lane, and he was the first player to start scoring at regular intervals off Suck Lane, and that's changed this game. Yes, it, uh, it certainly was a tempter, that delivery. Up a little bit more and outside off stump. And uh, just clipping the edge of uh, the rough. He's not able to stop that. Gilchrist just goes on finding the gaps. No one knows where that's gone. No, Gilchrist does. He's the one who knows. It's gone crashing into the pickets and the advertising hoardings at mid-wicket was one of Shoa Bakhtar's really quick deliveries and Gilchrist hurled himself at it and smashed it away. Time and time again we've seen it. Yeah. Nice stroke, nice timing again off the back foot. Over in Perth be uh, a lot of people delighted about this as will be the case in other parts of the world three balls to go in this over Sackland to Gilchrist yes! that is very useful for the Australians he has splashed a four it's a very relieved uh, pat on the backside there from Shane Warne he may not have to face anything. And he'd be delighted with that. Let me tell you, this has been a real test. There's been no hiding in this match. Right to day five. A record-breaking partnership, making it look easy on a toughish pitch. Pakistanis have been very, very hard this match. And the emotion that the Australian batsmen are showing indicates that... The relief of the victory is in sight, and the Pakistanis are gone. And that is it. That is the winning run. And 
Gilchrist is telling Warren to get down the other end. Warren had plenty of hands in the victory with his bowling. The Australians have pulled off what I think is one of the finest victories I've ever seen in Test cricket. Down and out yesterday, five for 126. And two men batted almost the whole of the final day up to the point where the winning runs were hit. Adam Gilchrist, 149 not out. Justin Langer, 127. A superb performance. And so quickly, just over half the day.